In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options with Brain Infographics slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have downloaded this image from the unsplash.com and you can see here the brain inside a light bulb. And then I have divided this brain into the left and the right side. And then I have added uh, six options. When I click, this option rotates and gives you the details about each one. So when I click, you can see here it started rotating. Then it comes to the second one, the third one, and then comes to the right. You can see here, and this keeps on rotating. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options or change the image background as well. Please share, like, and subscribe my channel. And the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates, absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. I'm going to use this image for today's tutorial, which I've downloaded from the unsplash.com or you can download any similar images. So first of all, I would like to fit this particular image to the slide. Okay, for that, let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. And you can see here, this particular uh, image is vertical. All right, so it will not fit if the if I try to do that one, it's not going to fit that one. So what I can do is I can just uh, crop this one. All right. For that, let me just go to the picture format, crop. And here you can see here aspect ratio. I'm going to select which is 16 is to 9. Click that one. And you can see here only this part, whatever is visible, only that part can be uh, applied onto the slide. Okay. So I'm just going to make it somewhat up, something like this. All right. And click outside. Now I'm going to select the image, take it to the corner and then drag it so that it will fit perfectly to the slide you can see here. The next step which I'm going to do is I'm going to add one vertical line to split the brain on the left and the right side or then go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose the line, draw a vertical line by holding the shift key. You can see here and then change the line color go to the shape format shape outline and i'm going to make this as white and then i can increase the weight of this all right you can see here and then i can just give a dotted line for this you can see here and make sure that it is properly in the center then i'm going to add two more rectangles here to show this is the left side of the brain and the right side. So here I'm going to make it shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. Maybe I'm going to give a blue color here. Hold the control shift key, bring it to the right. And then I'm going to give a different color, maybe the green. Then go to insert text box. I'm going to write, for example, this is left. All right, make it bold. You can use any font of your choice and then let me just make it center align and hold the control shift key and drag it towards the right and change the text to right. It's taking some time. Yeah, it's done. And once this is done, I would like to add some sensor point or some points where I would like to give more details about. For that, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose which is the arch. You can see here, just, just put it here. Just click on this one. You can see it looks something like this. And here, you can just change the... Uh, the the size of this one okay so i'm going to keep it one only and then you can just increase it you can see here so i'm going to make it something like this one and press ctrl d to duplicate this one and for this i'm going to make this as maybe 0.5 you can see here 0.5 all right so let me just zoom in you can see here and then i'm going to put it here and then you can just change the direction the way you want you can see here one is like this and if you want you can add one more also again depending on your requirements i'm going to keep only two select both of this shape outline i'm going to make it white and bring it here okay and again if you want to reduce the size you can press ctrl g to group it and hold the control sorry the shift key 
only the shift key and reduce the size so it looks something like this so you can see here so i'm going to use like this and then right mouse click group and ungroup that one group and ungroup all right so then we will give some animation effect to it so i'm going to use a spin animation for that so go to the animations enable the animation pane and just click the first one you can see here i can select both also by holding the control by, sorry by the shift key you can see here so let me just select so you can see that these two objects got selected so i'm going to add animation you have to go to the more emphasis effects or in the emphasis also you can see the spin here just click it here and you can see here it started uh, spinning all right and then what you can do is right mouse click effect options and then you can just uh, make the changes here all right so you can see the timings when you want for example i want this to uh, repeat until end of the slide the duration is medium or what okay and just click ok so it will start rotating but the thing is it is rotating both in the same direction all right so i would like to just change the outer one to rotate in the counterclockwise for that select the the particular object and you can see here the that particular animation effect has been highlighted here so double click this one and you can see the amount instead of 360 clockwise i'm going to select the 360 a counterclockwise all right and click ok so now both will uh, for example let me just zoom it again and i would like to reduce the width all right something like this now if i play you can see here it's both are do going in the opposite direction all right so once this is done what we need to do is i'm going to add one text or a rectangle whatever you can uh, add it here so i'm just going to add equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one so this is very long text so i'm going to first of all make the text as white so it will be visible and then i don't want this much large text you can see here i'm going to delete this part the unwanted large text reduce the okay text and then you can center align if you want or if you want it's not visible you can see here it's not visible clearly when i'm putting on the bulb so what you can do is you can insert one rectangle all right insert one rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this white or you can just give it black also and then right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to give uh, some transparent effect to it so under fill uh, maybe i'm going to make it like 20 percent transparency and select this one bring to front and put the text here on top of this and reduce the font size you can see here even i'm going to reduce the size of this rectangle all right so you can see here i've done this one i'm going to select both of this one shape format align center align middle and press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to add it here again to do this one to connect this one i'm going to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape you can see here so from here i'm just going to click one here and another here and double click this one or you can just hold the shift key so that it gets a perfect straight line and double click this shape outline i'm going to make it white and increase the weight of this all right so what you can do is once the animation here start so i'm going to add the animation effect here which is a wipe animation and wipe animation you should start from right so it like this and then this should appear okay then i'm going to make it add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch from the top and this should happen after previous okay and even this also the line also should happen on click or after previous whatever okay so i'm just going to make it maybe after previous 
So the what happens if I make it after previous means it takes a long time to come. So let me just show you. So when I click it started moving and now it comes here. Okay, so depending on the requirement, you can just make it maybe this as on click also. For example, if I do, so this will come immediately once I click one more time. All right. So now it's easy for me. Now I'm going to select this one and hold the shift key, select this one, press control D to duplicate. I'm going to add one here. All right. Then I'm going to copy this one, press control D and I'm going to put it here. All right. Again, I'm going to select this both, press control D and I'm going to add one like this. So this is the simplest way, whatever the text you want, you can just add it and put the information here. So let me just put it down. All right. So now how it looks is very simple. So this will come first, then the other will move. This will come and then this will come here. So likewise, you can just copy and paste, press control D and you can make it to the right side here. All right. So you can just change according to the your own requirement, the text colors or even the image also you can change it.